Hi, hello, this is Charlie Jose. You're watching Upsim Charlie. In today's episode, well, we will be discussing uh, why is it possible that uh, Bitcoin could go down, could go down to 21K again, somewhere in that level between 21K and 22K or below 22K. You know, there are several factors again in the macroeconomic uh, level and uh, I'll show you the reasons why. And, uh, but before that, we could check on uh, Bitcoin. So Bitcoin was uh, went up yesterday more than 10%. And uh, that's good. But there's looming uh, concerns that the inflation is uh, going up. And the Fed might do a uh, 6% interest or a 50 basis point uh, hike. So we're going to discuss that further. Right now, Bitcoin is at 23,784 uh, it was uh, before it was around uh, 24,388 like i was mentioning uh, bitcoin could go back to like uh, 21 levels and here's why and the consumer debt hits a record high of uh, 16.9 trillion dollars as delinquencies also rise so that's a biggie, 16.9 trillion consumer debt, wow, in America. And then wholesale prices also rose by 0.7% in January, more than expected fueling inflation. So that's one of those uh, factors uh, affecting the, the, you know, the macro in the United States, hence affecting also you know the upcoming uh, uh, POMC uh, FOMC. I'm sorry, FOMC uh, meeting and discussion by by the Fed and the Fed chair. And uh, with this, uh, you know, negative news, uh, they might increase again the the interest rate. But this will also harm the U.S. Uh, economy if they keep pressing on increasing so so another one is like uh, last feb 15 retail sales jumped three percent in january smashing expectation despite inflation increase so others would like u.s inflation is likely uh, far stickier and could last a decade some uh, some analysts would uh, say and uh, inflation rose 0.5 percent in the last uh, discussion and there was also a correction by the u.s government by you know, apparently last month statistics was wrong but i find it dubious dubious in my side because you know you don't announce something and then you, you pull back that's not good you know uh, reference wise and uh and here's another one the fed could raise uh rates to uh six percent so uh, amidst the you know, rates could uh, be heading to as high as 6%, the economy re remains resilient due to recent easing of financial conditions. Financial conditions we need to tighten again to kill inflation. And, and then uh, retail sales uh, went up uh, 3% versus estimates 2%, which should be good. <laughs> Overall, this will only raise more questions about how far the Fed will need to raise rates because the Fed funds futures market is currently pricing in a policy rate above that of the December dot plot for a range of 5 to 5.25 percent. As of the Feb 14 close, the futures contracts for August were trading at 5.28 percent. It's OFR futures uh, option suggests that that bets are being placed on rates climbing above 5.5 in 2023 and potentially as high as 6%. So as uh, noted previously, there have been soaring open interest levels for September 2023 SOFR 94 and 94.5 put options, which imply as rate of 5.5% to 6%. So that is why uh, that is why most likely uh, CPI uh, could go up uh, in the next 
announcement by the Fed and uh, others. So uh, this one's announced by uh, Fed uh, Mester, so compelling case for 0.50% rate hike this month. So Cleveland Fed President Loretta Mester said in a speech Thursday morning she would have favored raise, raising rate interest rates by 0.50% or, or uh, 50 basis points, saying the Fed still has more work to do this uh, to do to do to bring down inflation expect some uh, rate increase in the next uh, in the next FOMC meeting which is on May 3 to 4 okay but they may ha might have an you know I'm sorry in March uh, 15 sorry what what date are we yeah, we're still in February. In March 15, sorry about that. March 15 to 16. Because the last announcement was in February 1. Yeah, they only uh, increased the interest rate to 25 basis points. And that was already somehow expected because that's what the Fed announced uh, previously uh, in, uh, in, in January. And uh, now... Uh, the winds has changed and uh, expect expect a, a more uh, hawkish uh, approach by the FOMC. Now, still, it's a balancing act for the FOMC whether or not they're going to uh, you know increase just 25 basis points continuously until like mid of uh, 2023, or will they? Uh, increase in the next one to like 50 basis points immediately to counter this uh, uh, increase in debt, uh, wholesale price, and then uh, increase in uh, retail sales. You know, they, they want people not to spend their money or they don't want people to be buying stuff. So because in, uh, in uh, inflation, it's, it's the buying and selling of stuff. So they need people in America to be poor and not buy stuff. It's a balancing act. Uh, macroeconomics is a balancing act. This is, by the way, uh, from the CME group. It's called the CME Fed Watch Tool. And uh, yes, the next FOMC meeting will be in 33 days and 15 hours. And so far, the target rate probability for March, 20, March 22, 23 Fed meeting is... Uh, they're still in favor of uh, somewhere uh, in this level, still at the 25 basis points. This may change after this week. If sentiment still uh, saying that they might go over 25 percent uh, you know, next week. So let's see. We will uh, check again the Fed Watch tool by the CMA group. Uh, this has been uh, reliable so far. They have uh, predicted that uh, there will be 25 basis points uh, earlier, so that happened, so that's good. And one of the reasons why uh, why the stock market is down and why uh, just recently uh, BTC went down, here you go, that one, it went down because the Dixie and the DXY, the dollar strength index, has rose uh, one point from 103. Now it's 103.3 to 104.3. So that's a significant increase. That's one point. Uh, try to remember that last year, September 22, as uh, 2022, uh, September 26, it was the height of the the dollar strength. It was around uh, 114. Point, uh, seven actually there was a high of yeah almost almost in that level actually it's around 114.18 uh, point, uh, point okay but historically uh, it has gone up like the highest would be 114.17 okay but it didn't reach that level uh, only around 114.12 100, 100, somewhere in that 12 yeah, 0.16 
but now it's gone down because uh, things uh, was uh, starting to get rosy in the inflation, so that what, that's why it's going down. Now it's going up. Uh, the, the one of the reasons why it's going up also is because uh, people are buying the bonds because bonds are giving good yields as of today and hence the buying of the US dollar. So do we expect the US dollar to co still come up? Possibly because, you know, because of this one and uh, this one, federal, uh, you know, federal fund rates might go up and uh, this may continue to go up until next month. So that depends on the move of the Federal Reserve, if they continue on 25 basis points or not, or they'll increase it to 50 basis points as suggested, as suggested by Fedmester. Okay, so wait and see. Uh, and make sure you have dry powder. And uh, for those who uh, profited here, if you're doing a short term, uh, a trade in a Bitcoin uh, you should have taken profit uh, yesterday it's not gonna pump again because of the macroeconomics plus the fact that uh, the DXY or the dollar strength index is uh, going up so it's gonna pull down Bitcoin so that depends also on the buyers the investors of Bitcoin if there's gonna be a flood of uh, you know, uh, Bitcoin uh, buyers and Bitcoin holders in the next in this this in this week or in this weekend and the coming week next week. Okay, so basically that's it. Why uh, Bitcoin could go down again at 21k if uh, this happens <laughs> or this happens. So it, it ain't. All good news, and I don't want to fad. I don't want to be a, the bearer of bad news. But you know, macroeconomics is strong, and uh, it could push us up. It could push us down. So there's, uh, you know, there's news that uh, we might go down. Hopefully not. So just be prepared. If you're day trading, if you're uh, swing trading, then it could be an opportunity for you again to buy. Bit coin at a low and uh, you know then take profit once uh, once bitcoin goes up again so that's it for today see you on my next video goodbye adios arrivederci